Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Both Liberal and Conservative governments have negotiated trade deals that fail to uphold Canadian values and protect Canadian interests. These deals have deepened our trade relations with anti-democratic regimes, with countries where freedom of speech is stifled and journalists are jailed. We sell arms to countries with horrendous track records on human rights. Will this government learn from past mistakes like the disastrous Canada-China FIPA and prioritize environmental, democratic and human rights standards in our trade relations? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we all agree that trade needs to represent the values and the interests of Canadians. And let me be clear about what those values are. We believe human rights are at the very core of our international policy. We believe the economy and the environment can go hand in hand and are mutually beneficial. We believe that everyone should benefit from trade, including women, LGBTQ2 businesses, and Indigenous peoples. I can assure my honourable colleague and all Canadians that our trade policy will always be motivated by what is in the interests of Canadians, Mr. Speaker.